welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you very much, everybody. Well, guys, it was another big day in Washington as House Democrats formally introduced the resolution to impeach President Trump. And if you're watching, no, this is not a repeat. <laughs> yep, Trump is being impeached again. Right now, everyone in America is having deja vu. <laughs> this morning, Trump was charged with incitement of insurrection. Now, you know you messed up when you're charged with the title of a 90s Star Trek movie. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's never good when your crimes rise to the level of Klingon. <laughs> well, it's looking like one more impeachment for Trump. Trump gets impeached the way most people get vaccinated in two doses. <laughs> Some people say impeaching Trump will divide the country. Really? How much more divided can the country get? We're currently in a state of monopoly game after Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's where we are. Meanwhile, some of Trump's most loyal defenders are saying we shouldn't kick him while he's down. Even the Karate Kid is going, eh, this one time feels okay. I think <laughs> sweep the leg, sweep the leg. <laughs> well, if you think Trump's upset about getting impeached, imagine how he felt the other day when Twitter announced that they're permanently suspending his account. A lifetime ban. A lifetime ban Trump's basically the Pete Rose of social media. <laughs> right now, Trump's phone is stuffed into a pile of rice after being drenched with tears. <laughs> the good news is, now Twitter can go back to what it used to be for, judging celebrities at award shows. <laughs> In addition to Twitter, Trump has been banned or restricted from Apple, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Google, Amazon, Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube, Reddit, Twitch, Stripe, <laughs> Discord, and Shopify. Oh. Trump started this year thinking he should be on Mount Rushmore. Now he can't even get on Instagram. <laughs> Seriously, in one weekend, Trump's phone became a $2,000 flashlight. <laughs> yeah, now Trump can tweet, snap, post, or stream. It's gotten so bad, he can't even sell embroidered pillows on Etsy. Mm. Of course, now we're going to have to settle with him holding 50 press conferences a day and yelling 280 characters at a time. <laughs> That's 2 a.m. It's time for another press conference. <laughs> Things have gotten so bad for Trump, the PGA announced that they will no longer hold the 2022 PGA Championship at Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey. No more Twitter, no more PGA. If Diet Coke comes out against Trump, he's going to lose his mind. Uh, again. Uh, let's change gears here. Oh, this was fun. Yesterday, Nickelodeon aired its first ever kid-friendly broadcast of an NFL playoff game. Check out what it looked like. Barrow plunging forward, end zone, and touchdown. Hey, there's a slug. Beep, beep, beep. And now Will Lutz will come on for the extra point. And he kicks it right through SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that actually looked normal to me. Then again, I, I watch every game after dropping an insane amount of acid. <laughs> uh, right, right, right through SpongeBob there. Congratulations. <laughs> it was great. The slime cannons. It was, yeah. it was awesome. A lot of people enjoyed seeing the game like this. I mean, it was way better than the time they had the Rugrats host a UFC fight. <laughs> that, just, that just didn't work. Some uh, entertainment news, HBO announced that they are rebooting Sex in the City. Yeah. Even crazier, there's also going to be a version that airs on Nickelodeon. <laughs> yep, everyone is back, except Kim Cattrall won't be reprising her role as Samantha. That's like the Avengers uh, rebooting, but Thor's like, you won't be seeing this hammer. Yep, 17 years after the final episode, Sex and the City is coming back. They already released an episode, and the first 20 minutes is Mr. Big waiting for his pill to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I saw that Dwayne The Rock Johnson is launching a healthy energy drink called Zoa. 
You can tell the drink is good. Nancy Pelosi just chugged one, crushed the can on her forehead, and said, let's impeach this Jim Brony. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much. It is Monday. We're excited to be back, and we've got a fantastic week of shows ahead. Nicole Kidman will be here. <laughs> Amazing. Do you see the undoing? Yeah, I did. She crushed it, man. <laughs> uh, Anthony Mackie will be here. Oh, I love Anthony Mackie. Plus, Anne Hathaway. Angela Bassett, Lily Singh. Oh, stay up late tonight. Lily Singh is uh, premiering tonight uh, after Seth. So it's me, Seth, and Lily. But right. it premieres tonight. We love you, Lily Singh. <laughs> Check out Lily tonight. Uh, but first, we have a great show for you tonight. She stars in the movie On the Rocks on Apple TV Plus. Rashida Jones is here. <laughs> Plus, from the film The King of Staten Island and The Mandalorian, Bill Burr is here. God. Dude is, that yeah. dude is next level funny. Yeah, man. He's on a different <laughs> world, man. It's just, gosh, I just love that guy so much. Uh, and we got great music from Old Dominion. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it's